So, hey, Christian. Uh, I just kind of want to welcome you to the podcast here. Christian's one of our technicians out there in the field. So wanted to kind of pull you in here, kind of see what's going on out there. What are customers kind of, you know, talking to you about when you go out there? We're doing uh, – going into the AC tune-ups and kind of weeding out with the heating tune-ups, correct? Correct, yeah. So, okay. yeah, we're kind of getting people prepared for summertime. Okay. You know, we're taking a look at their condensers, the outside systems, um, the indoor portions, and – also, the duct work. Oh, okay. Jump into the attic, make sure that we can get the air directly to the customers. Absolutely. What are some of the things that you're actually seeing out there? Um, well, I mean, from what I see, you know, a lot of newer equipment, stuff that we've already installed, which is great. Okay. Um, but I'm starting to see some duct work that, you know, it was kind of, we see that they've not really been uh, addressed. You know, a gotcha. lot of them are kind of, you know, the, the connections are starting to fall apart. You okay. Know, new, new equipment. Well, yeah, work, obviously, right? you know, airflow is a big part of that, right? Sure, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, so when customers are saying, hey, you know, you're here from an AC tune-up, and now you're asking to get in the attic, what are some of the things that you're letting them know that we need to look at out there? Sure. So what we're looking at is uh, energy consumption. And I think mm-hmm. that's also another one of the big things they ask. We're like, hey, last year my power bills went up. Yeah. So I have new equipment. What's kind of happening? You know, I mean, yeah, sure, energy goes up. But also, ductwork gets older. Yeah. So, yeah. And what we're seeing is we have uh, high energy consumption on the system. It creates longer run times and also higher utility. So what are we checking out uh, on the system to kind of see that it may derive from the ductwork? Sure. So I'm checking a lot of uh, the, uh, like the capacitors, you know, the energy, okay. anything that's transferring energy, you know, uh, uh, starting amps, running amps. Uh, on the outside system. What's good? What's bad? When when yeah. when you look at that? Um, and so so I base it on uh, the data. You know, kind of the specs that are on the tag on the yeah, system. The tag huh? on the system. It's like everybody sees. There's not a set number on no, these units. Yeah, there okay. is. I mean, every every system is going to be different. Okay. You know? So bigger system, higher ramps. Smaller gotcha. system, smaller ramps. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So when you hop up in the attic and they're like, okay, well, what's going on? It's supposed to be my a- AC tune-up. What are you doing in my house? Yeah. What are you telling them that you're doing up there? Well, I, I tell them, you know what? Let's let's take a full 360. Okay. You know, I can, you know, yeah, we can take a look at the box all day. Right. And that's, uh, you know, I mean, that's just a piece of what this air conditioner is about. Gotcha. We, we, can't, we can't get air conditioning if we can't get the air to it, to the right. house, right? <laughs> Makes so, sense. So, you know, and I tell them, hey, you know what, let's, let's take a look at what's going on in the attic. You know, maybe at the time when we install the system, that, that it has always the task. Okay. You know, we don't, sometimes we kind of miss taking, taking a look at the attic only because the task was, hey, let's just get rid, let's just get the, your system going. And, you know, we'll figure out things as we go. Absolutely. Yeah. So one of the biggest questions that we're actually getting from our viewers is how should the homeowner transition their HVAC system into winter, from winter into summer? Oh, okay. So, I mean, one thing, of course, change your filters. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, Pretty easy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's easy enough for a, a homeowner, you know, that we don't ask too much, you know. Uh, you know, uh, change your filters, of course. Get okay. it, take a look at, you know, because there might be some things over... You know, but this was a weird year this year. So we, we had, a, I think, a little bit longer of a winter. I mean, it's yeah. beautiful outside the past <laughs> now, couple days. But we're coming into a, you know, a longer summer this time. Oh, I hope so. So, I mean, <laughs> getting the system looked at, like, if you, if you invite us to come out and say, hey, okay, yeah, let's take a look at really what's happening. You know, let's get you ready for, I know we've been talking about it, a bigger summer this year. You know, I mean, the Farmer's Almanac is what kind of people fall back on. Sure. And a lot of people laugh when I say that, but uh, it actually predicted the summer last year as well when we pretty much only had about 45 days of real heat, <laughs> yeah. which, uh, I mean, it was great for you guys. It just wasn't great for the industry because yeah. <laughs> with no heat, you know, we live in the desert. We need it, yeah, right? For sure. So, Christian, I, you know, another big question that we get from, you know, people calling in and people watching this, sure. um, what are the most overlooked maintenances by the homeowner? Besides just the filters, just besides what does the homeowner need to do to kind of keep the lifespan going to where, you know, kind of in between the times when we're coming out for, you know, spring and, and winter tune-ups? Sure. Um, duck work. You know, I, I'm a firm believer of duck work and, okay. and keeping the airflow. We moving. do talk about that yeah, a lot yeah, with your customers. I mean, air, <laughs> yeah, that, that's one of my biggest or, or my specialties, of that, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, the duck work is in the airflow is the air conditioner's best friend. Okay. If you can't move air, you can't, you know, you can't cool the air. You know, so taking a look at um, the blower and the coils inside the attic is overlooked okay. honestly, all the time. Because when I open things and, you know, if we're, we're coming to a new, 
uh, in a home that's never been seen. You know, I'm going to take a look at the indoor coils, which do the whole shebang yeah, the whole kind shebang. of thing. No, no, and everybody knows that there is a coil in the attic somewhere. Right. And when I open it, you know, it's usually, uh, you know, full of impacted with dust and it's restricted airflow everywhere. You and know, where does that dust usually come from? Just the attic? Sometimes attic. Sometimes if you're not changing your filter, sometimes okay. duct work is loose. I mean, we create negative pressure in the attic and we absorb dust, debris, anything that's going on. You know, that's a dusty place up there. <laughs> So what's a good age span uh, for ductwork, being that we do live in such different climates than the rest of the, the country? Um, in, in Vegas, in a, dry yeah. cult, in a dry climate, you know, we, we should be taking a look at it anywhere from 8 to 15 years okay. minimum, you know, because, uh, you know, it's, it's just a forgotten thing. You know, it's out of sight and out of mind. I think you say that a lot, too. You know, it's, it's out of sight. You don't see ductwork. That is one of my and favorite lines to yeah, say. Yeah, you know, we're, we're going to see things that homeowners don't. Yes. Absolutely. They don't go up there. I get it. It's not a good place for people to hang out, you know. So as we see things, you know, I bring it up. I take pictures. And if a homeowner wants to join me, they will. (laughs) Yeah. Just be careful on the ladder, you know. (laughs) So, okay. So I'm a customer, right? You're at my house. My duct work, my my home's 20 years old, okay? You're saying I have improper airflow, things like that. What are some of my options? Because, you know, Mm. obviously price, big thing. Um Service is a big thing. What are my options as far as getting it taken care of to where it's not going to kill me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we can always clean the ductwork. Okay. And, and also reseal it. There's, I mean, knocking off a lot of uh, what's inside the ductwork. I mean, ductwork is a spiral. Ductwork is metal. And if, if there is any buildup, it'll, you know, the volume of air is going to get kind of you know, distracted somehow. Okay. Yeah, and so now we can knock off some of the dust to move the air better. Uh, we can makes sense. Yeah, and, and if we're losing the air and losing some of that capacity of air going through, we seal it up. I mean, duck, replacing ductwork is probably honestly the best way to do things. Okay, yeah. We, only because you know, we can resize it. We can, you know, move the air better. You know, if ducts are kinked. So you guys actually come out and, and do a whole, like, resizing, reevaluation of everything? Sure, absolutely. Oh, and, awesome. And, and the design of ductwork is, was only based on a builder's design. You know, they code 20 code plus years ago, absolutely. right? Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, what they thought was the best. Yeah. You know, and over time we've, we've made some advances in duct work, you know, and, and, and volume of air moving through technology, technology, everything yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of cool tools that we can actually diagnose. How long does it take to install? Let's say I, I replace my entire duct work. How long sure. does that take? About a half a day or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I mean, we, we got a few guys. It's not just one person going up there. Right. And, you know, just up, down, up, time. down. <laughs> we have a team, you know, and a team does well gotcha. together. You know, and they'll knock it out. Gotcha. Um, just kind of wrap things up here. I do appreciate you coming in. And sure. Man. I know you got calls to run today. <laughs> um, what are we going to do without football now? Without football? Yeah. Oh, gosh. I mean, the Chiefs already won. I'm happy. <laughs> what do we do now? We just plan for the next season. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. now it's good. time to actually go to Knights games on the weekends, oh, right? So I can true. plan for my uh, my Sundays bit, just bit opened up. tickets. <laughs> a lot of more often games, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, Christian. Well, let's get at it today. Awesome. Thank you.